Welcome back. Today we're going head to head. 2023 versus 2020. Russell's Reserve single barrel, 110 proof. Which one will come out on top? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back. Today we're going Battle Royale head to head. 2023 versus 2020. Russell's Reserve. Single barrel, 110 proof. I decided when I saw, I have had this one for since the Rona. And as you can see, I've not really drank a lot out of it. It wasn't really my jam. I saw this one recently, just came out. This is the 2023 uh, Little Mom and Pop store. And I said, you know what? It's a little more pricey. It's now 70 bucks. This one was 60. I wonder if there's a difference in the juice between 23 and 20. I figured, why not? I'll buy one, find out, try it out. Compare them. Well, as you can see by the 23, uh, taste wise to me, the 23 way beat out the 20. We'll have the glasses here set out, excuse me, roughly about 20, 25 minutes. Both the mashables of these are 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. So we've talked about the, the history a little bit. This one here, like I said, three years difference. Let's get into the nose. This one on the 23. See, that just comes across just punchy. Just you get that rye spice, that that oaky note, that cinnamon, a little bit of leather. There's a very strong presence on the 23. Let's try the 20. The 20 is there. It's a, it's a more sweeter. Um, it's like a sweeter toffee, a, like a leather, like an old leather note. The charred oak and the vanilla are there, but they're not as pronounced as the 23. Got into both of the noses. Let's get into the taste. Oh, that is just leathery, tobacco-y. That Kentucky hug is just right there and just blossoming beautifully. You get the aged oak. You get a graham cracker drizzled with honey and sugar. It's just, wow. I mean, literally and the finish is still there and it just coats that whole entire mouth this 2023 as you can see how much i've drank out of it it was it blew my mind i was not expecting i was expecting kind of this you know, all there and this but not that so we've had this let's try that okay so you're getting the dark fruit tobacco note but it's, it's softer. I don't know, because maybe the years, maybe three years, it's rounded it. You definitely get that rye spice. Now, the rye spice here was more front forward. This one is more rye spice back forward past the mid palate. So the proof, again, 110 for both. But for this one, that rye spice is punched up forward and it's very sweet and subtle. It's just really mouth-watering. This one here, it's on the back palate. It's not on the front pal. The front pal was more tobacco, leather, oakiness. So these are almost like they reversed it. They got the sweet and savory up front and the oakiness. Now this one is way more the oakiness other than the sweet and savory. Surprisingly, going back and forth, we'll go to another taste. If you like your oaky, leathery, you know, mid palate back, if you can find a bottle of... Uh, Prior to this one with the old labels, as you can see, you got the more gold label. This is more black and white. And that that note, that leathery, oaky note is more your blend. You're going to really like this. This one here, that sweet and savory, that's my jam. This this is way more my jam. So let's try for a second taste of 2023. 20, oh, yeah, it's just that sweet note is right there up front. It's a sweet tobacco leather, but it's just, oh, it's so good. The, it just, the t I don't know what they did. If, you know, again, single barrels, every barrel, single barrel that I've been uh, watched on YouTube or been taught, every one is different. This one, I went and bought two more because, holy man, it was, I was blown away. Not only that, I was blown away. This little mom and pop store, it's over off of 75 where I live in, in uh, Down River, Michigan. Um, they had Booker's, they had Blood Oath, uh, they had uh, 
cigar blend, which blew me away. The batch 163 for five. I think the Booker's was $10 above MSRP. The Blood Oath was $30 above MSRP. And the cigar blend was $30 or $40 above MSRP. For that little bit above MSRP, you know what? I don't mind paying that because to me, you're not getting stuck in the rear. You know, they got to make a little bit of their money because it's hard to find. But to have it sitting on the shelf, you would not. It's an indescript white building with liquor. And it looks like it's all got, it's got the uh, X and cross of the things where you can't break into the iron, all the windows and the door. You think you're literally in a ghetto neighborhood. But you walk in and the selection of literally rye, whiskeys, Irish whiskey, scotches, tequilas is like, you kind of sit back and go, all right, am I in a total wine or am I in a mom and pop shop? Plus, they're also very kind, very understanding, and they'll actually order you stuff if you want to. So I was especially impressed with that. And there's a couple of things that I'll be doing that I've gotten just from them that um, I'm going to be reviewing on the channel. Let's get into one more taste with this one. Yeah, that oaky, leathery tobacco note is right up front where this is again the sweet and savory this is the leather tobacco note if that's your jam you're gonna like this you're really gonna like this this one here like i said is more mine that sweet and savory note i love it this is brian the average whiskey drinker channel again like i always say find a bottle open that bottle enjoy that bottle because good whiskey even three years apart is always meant to be shared thank you so much for watching like subscribe comment below let me know if uh you've had these uh the 23 or the 20 what your takes and uh tastes were and i'll talk with you all soon thanks again